The beauty of Dota is that a certain five-man team can appear, implement their own brand of Dota, their own tactics, and simply take over. It's like inserting a new gene that simply recodes the DNA sequences and cures the disease. Yes, it's a bit complicated, but still, it is up to only those five players that know what they are doing. And thus, they are revolutionizing Dota. This is the story of Alliance from TI3 and how they changed Dota forever. We begin with a team with the players named Loda, S4, Admiral Bulldog, EGM, and AK. They each had their own skill, but when they were together, they created an entire idea. This idea is known as Rat Dota. Instantly, they just drop it here. This Prophet is incredible late game. It's very hard to play against. Oh, and today we're going to be talking with the Alliance's Admiral Bulldog. Alliance hasn't dropped this. It is the notion of constant pushing no matter what. Even if your team is dying, the main objective is to push. Is to push, push, and push. And take down enemy buildings. In Dota, we psychologically get inclined to go for kills. We have anger, we have pride, and we want to kill another player. Another great player. Sometimes we get killed and we want revenge. We even have the ability to rage and buy back and try to get even with the end. Like for example, in this case. But Alliance created an entire different approach to Dota. In fact, they had to completely humble themselves. See, when they created this tactic and decided to go 100% with it, it was already taken into consideration of throwing away such trivial emotions and simply playing to take objectives. One of the most chosen heroes during their run was the Matrix Prophet. This is by far the best hero to playing rat game. He is the fastest pusher and can bounce from one lane to another in two seconds, causing your creeps to push and suffocate the enemy faster. Even when your enemy has an advantage, they always have to worry about this hero taking down a tier 3 tower or the barracks. Losing such important buildings give you a big disadvantage and weakens your protection of the ancient. So, let me ask you this, what does Dota stand for? Yes, it's defense of the ancients. This means that the Ancient must be protected. The purpose of Alliance Dota was simple. They wanted to take your Ancient as swiftly as possible. It did not matter how many deaths they had, nor did any of the individual statistics matter. Only buildings mattered. Unlike other previous teams, for example Na'Vi with the Founding Hook glitch, Alliance changed Dota indefinitely. It has changed Dota forever, even to this day. From 2012 to 2018, this type of push and rat Dota tactics still exist. It goes to show how powerful and impactful Alliance really were. It's like Stephen Curry and his impact to basketball. In 2018, every team now has a three-point long distance format of a team. Stephen Curry revolutionized basketball, and so did Alliance. The point of this video is to show how they changed Dota. By the way, if you think there isn't other great players in Alliance, that you are heavily mistaken. S4 was famous from back in the old Alliance days. In fact, he was so clutch, so clever, so crazy, that because of his plays to this day, his name shakes the ground when mentioned. He is like Universe from Evil Geniuses, two of the most dangerous and legendary offlaners remembered to this day in history. S4 back into the pit, covering his team, Roche the fall, it goes to the Alliance, the Aegis on the Loda, and now a whole kind of boast, he's overstayed his welcome here, swapping in Kuroki, Kuroki said get me out of here man, and he can't, he'll fall, it's a headlong retreat now, Golda teleporting forward. Creating another base of attack. Now a call down to fly. They've lost the Bulldog. He's still alive though. He's not even dying. Three dead. No track kills for Navi, and they're not gonna get any. Make it four. Navi down two to eleven, and they're gonna GG. And what makes S4 special is that he is humble. It's different from most other players. And you're on kind of a hot streak right now. I understand you're undefeated in group play. You're coming off of another big win. How are you feeling this morning? Um, we're feeling like. The upcoming match against DK is going to be one of the hardest in this tournament, so we're pressured right now. Despite being undefeated, he respects his opponent, which was Team DK at the time. Now, Lions was not just about Rat Dota, but it was something far greater. They had special synchronization with one another. Maybe it's the Swedish kindness, or maybe it was the awakened Rat that took the world by surprise. Honestly, during the TI run, they seemed unpenetrable. Like Zeus, the mighty Greek god of all gods. Unlike other teams, the Lions were like a bowling ball going downhill. Once a little momentum was given, they could not be stopped. They simply kept rolling 
rolling down until every pin was dropped. In the series versus Navi, we see this after they take a Roche fight. Roche is gone! Loda! With the help of EGM, Admiral Bulldog, and Ake. This is, of course, the reason tied up to seven in a game that was led for so long by Navi has completely turned on its head. Alliance just coming back from the most ridiculous positions, able to stay cool, calm. And in game five, it was where the true reign of Rat Dota began. Despite being so overwhelmed by Havos' Alchemist and Dendi Templar Assassin combination, along with Kuroki's support, in comes Admiral Bulldog. TP back in here, any fascists? There's a stun on Dendi! Dendi's dropping low! Roshan! Roshan! As for us, we up the ages! Elias is still in game five! Yes, Admiral Bulldog was the father of Rat Dota, the best nature's profit player ever. Everybody respects his nature's play. Everybody respects it. His nature's profit play single handedly shifted the tides of the game. What looked like a game for Navi suddenly became a desperate try to withhold the power of the trees. The game, Phoenix down! Alliance are doing it! As Alliance pushed with everything, they had completely decimated Navi's defenses. Eventually, they won the Ages of Champions, taking home TI3, the International of 2013. BKB, they're they want this run! They're gonna do it! They're gonna the do it! Alliance wins! They win! TI3! Now some people argue that Rat Dota existed before Alliance, and this might be true. But let's get real here. Did any other team win with Rat Dota before Alliance? Did any other team go to the International and demolish Na'Vi with Rat Dota? Na'Vi, the reigning TI champions of 2011, the first TI champion. No, they did not. Therefore, Alliance are the birth fathers of Rat Dota. They are the true creators. So when you hear Bulldog, S4, and any other names from the old Alliance team, just remember to give them respect and appreciation. They truly made Dota what it is today. This is the story about Alliance, the game changers of Dota. Until next time, this is Crystal's Dota Out.